It is day four of the teacher's strike. Classes are empty while others remain locked up. Today, the call from government was even louder as the information minister yet again pleaded with the teachers to return to class until next financial year when the 20% salary increment will be looked into. Government therefore appeals to teachers to consider the disruption and costs arising from the ongoing strike, which is too high for the students, for the parents, the guardians, and the country at large. After a closed door meeting among the executive members of the teachers' umbrella body, UNATO, the meeting resolved otherwise. That the industrial action continues and teachers and children should continue to stay out of school. Education Minister Jessica Lupo warns that the law will catch up with those who will not comply with government's resolutions. If teachers do not report to their duty stations, I am sure that there are provisions of the law which currently the Attorney General is studying together with his team, which we shall be able to, to quote in order to remind the teachers about their roles and responsibilities. Our legal officer is here. We are preparing our legal position to take government to the courts of law for the breach of contract. As the disagreements between government and the teachers' union continue, government insists that the activities of the term remain as planned, including the national examinations. Exams will resume as scheduled. What government is doing now is arranging examination material because we have already verified the examination centers. Last evening, Parliament passed the national budget after the budget committee failed to get the money for the teachers' salary increment. We sometimes do uh, pass supplementaries. But on this matter, we want to put it categorically clear that this financial year, such a supplementary will not be, uh, 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 will not be brought by government. The teachers' union is organizing a nationwide meeting of their members on Monday to discuss the way forward. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.